Welcome back to the Community Spotlight. Today we're taking a look at a build from March 2020 called Tonk, and actually a lot more. So let's get started. So this is Tonk, and uh, this is by Fish, and I don't think it does anything. This is from March 2020, and uh, maybe just push it. Maybe it's like a Tonka toy. Maybe that's the kind of the joke of it. Tonka toy. Wait, what? Kind of. Yeah, I think I think that's it. I think you push it, and you yell tonk tonk, as not to be confused with tank because this is a tonk. Uh, I really like the barrel design. It has a nice little cross end. Okay, I'm not gonna do this. Let's let's get the next one. All right, so here we go. We are looking at an Olsen build, which is the Arctic Worker. The Arctic Worker, right there. It says so. The Arctic Worker, and we're gonna check this out because it is a Chris Olsen build. And if you know Chris Olsen, you know Lorgs. Uh, who else kind of builds this stuff? I can't think right now. I'm not quite awake. But these are the guys that build some really interesting watercraft. So we're going to check this out. We've got cranes. Look at that. Uh, let me go up. Oh, look at that. Ooh. It's like a robot Terminator arm. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Should we go inside? Let's look in the front really quick. There is no front. That it's a it's a flat front. All right, let's go ahead and go inside and see what we have inside. Oh my gosh, I don't have a flashlight. I hope someone puts flashlights in here for me because I'm always losing mine. Okay, let's turn on the light. Oh, that's good. All right, so we have a little compartment here, a bathroom, a bed. All right, so these are our crewmates' quarters and. They're all duplicates right here. Okay, what's this? Oh, the light. Okay, and then we have a little couch area we can hang out. Oh, look. It's got like a back. And you can actually sit in these. These are nice. All right. We have a little stove here. A little kitchen. What is this? More gear. Even more gear. More gear? Oh, yeah. All right. So that's it. This is crew cabins, uh, rest area, and kitchen in this doorway here. Let's see. How do we get up top? we squeeze through there? Oh, we can squeeze through there. Cool. All right. So we can come in here. And there we go. Oh, wow. Look at this. This must be the guy managing the back. Uh, can we turn this on? Map. Backlights. Monitor. Okay. Uh, okay, let's turn that off. I don't want to hear that. Then we have our different cameras. Another monitor. And our... Different camera is stuck, I guess. All right, uh, cool. And then over here, we have a little seating area so you can watch everybody do their job. And then we can come over here and look at this beautiful bridge where we're going to look for pumps, I'm guessing, or something. Okay, let's turn on the nav lights, towing lights, ram lights, bow lights, deck lights, aft lights, aft lights, uh, work area. Oh, wheelhouse light. That's this. Oh, it's a wheelhouse, not a bridge. Sorry, my bad. And uh, change light mode to red alert. So we're playing Star Trek. And bright lights. Okay. Cool. Um, monitor. Backlights. Monitor. Radar. We don't want that on. Monitor. All right. So this is a Chris Olsen build. So can it be as easy as turning the keys to turn it on? Let's find out. Engine 2. Engine 1. Oh! <gasps> Can you believe it? One key. I didn't have to turn on any pumps. The key is not going <laughs> or anything like that. It's just on. Ah, oh, such a refreshing build when I get to not have to hear that key sound or the engine sound. All right, so let's go. What, what does one take control? I'm in control, right? Or is there somebody up top? There's somebody up top, is there? No, there's not a one. But who would I take control from? Not you. Oh, maybe like to counter the autopilot or something? Maybe? All right, let's try this. AP throttle. Oh, that's the autopilot throttle. Okay, so how do I just, do I push W? Yeah, W. Oh my gosh, this is cool. Look at that. Oh, this is a nice boat. All right, let's check it out at night. Well, you know what? Before we turn it on tonight, let's turn on the autopilot. I don't have a destination. 
And do 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 autopilot. There we go. All right, now let's do a night. All right, so here the ship is at night. You can see it has all the lighting. It has the uh, spotlights, so you can see while you're working on the deck at night. And uh, looks really cool. All right, let's go back to day. All right, so the autopilot is doing its thing. Let's see if we can uh, get to this little boat back here. Okay, so how do you... No, I think you do it from up top. Let's go back up there. Um, wait, what? Okay, maybe we can go around the front here? Oh yeah, okay. So how do we get this thing off? Really stingy. Oh, just push it? Oh, okay. Um, ah, crap. Alright, well, I can get back on the ship. But the dinghy fell off. Maybe we can catch it. Um, let's try. Let's see here. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's do engine on. There we go. Alright, here we go. We are never going to catch that. Oh, this actually uses like... Oh, that's... Look at that. That's... This is kind of cool. It's actually floating pretty well. And uh, the engine is... On the back, turns it. We're never going to catch up to that. I don't think. I mean, we're going pretty fast. All right, so this has been the Arctic Worker by Chris Olson. Actually, the Arctic Worker is way over there. We are in the uh, the dinghy. And uh, you can download this in the description below. Look, at this is a cool boat. I've never seen one like this. Or maybe I never got lucky enough to get it like floating on the right side. But I've never seen one that uses the engine. Like that. Like a real one. It's cool. And it's so stable. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm more impressed with the little boat now. Alright, so anyways, let's get to the next one. You can download this in the description below. So we are in March of 2020, of course. And this is a build by Corneth. Corneth? Corneth. I think it's Corneth. And this is just simply called Jeep. So it's a Jeep. And it's a 4x4. So we're going to just test it out see how it drives. Okay, that's the door for that one. There's a the door for that one. Oh, it likes to close itself. That's very odd. No. What's the hood look like? There's the hood. Okay, that's pretty simple. So, wait, what? Ignition? Nitro. Oh, okay. Ignition. Alright, so we have an ignition that turns on the power, apparently. Not the engine. And then we have an engine starter, which turns on the engine. Is it on? Yeah, it is. Okay, so that is our start. Okay, that's it. That's how we started. All right, so we've got all-wheel turning, but it's real. Oh, wait, what? This is very odd. Are you seeing this? It's kind of like it's ignoring the wheels completely. And it's, <laughs> it's trying to turn all four wheels, and it's not turning. This is a very odd thing I'm seeing here. All right, I can't actually turn around. Can I go backwards? No, I can't go backwards. Oh, well, one. Okay, let's go with one. All right. The only reason I want to go backwards is I want to hit that uh, nitro button to see what it does. All right, unlock. It's a long unlock process. Oh, can I not? All right, here we go, ready? And nitro. Okay, it's got rockets. All right, I think that's it. Let's hit number two, second gear. Let's see if we can get up a mountain or something. I can't turn, though. That's the thing with this thing. Now, I don't know if this is a March 2020 bug build or if it never really could turn properly, but uh, it does have... Yeah, it has trouble. All right, well, uh, let's get to the next one. This is the Jeep by Cornith, uh, and you can... Uh, Check it out in the description below. All right, so our next build is floating away. This is the RMS Aquitania by a normal commenter. And this was built in 1914, I guess. And uh, yeah, it's floating away. Let's see if we can get to it. All right, so we're on it, but there are some engine issues going on. This is from, uh, when is this from? This is from April 5th, 2020. And uh, 
last updated May 3rd, 2020. So it may have some issues by the sound. Surprisingly, the frame rate is pretty, pretty good for being so big. But uh, we're just going to try to get to the engine, uh, not the engine, but the helm, and see if there's something we can turn on or off or all of that. Um, yeah. Maybe here? Can I get up through here? Yeah, there are some crazy engine things going on right now. I don't know. Uh oh Let's try to cheat. All right. So. I'm just going to turn on these. Let's see if this helps. That starter is still going crazy. Huh. All right, well, we may just have to turn off the sound so we can walk around. All right, let's do that. All right, so I turned the sound down to minimum because it was driving me crazy. But let's go ahead and see if we can, like, check it out and uh, walk around here. I don't know which way to go. Um, we have our lifeboats, which are non-functional, probably why we get really good frame rate. These are not on pivots. They're just sitting here locked onto the deck. So that is a good thing. Let's come down here and see what we have. Nice room here. We've got a lot of detail on the inside. And let's jump on down here. Oh, boy. Yeah. Engines are on fire now. I don't know if you heard that. I don't know if I lowered it too much, but we just blew up the engines. All right, so let's go ahead and look through here while we can before it starts. I don't know what it's going to do. Catch on fire? I'm not sure. But uh, we've got a nice little room. It looks like a piano. Oh, it is a piano. Okay. This is a huge ship, a lot of detail, so don't know if we're going to see it all, but we will try to check out the decks. Okay, this is like a middle deck, and we can run back here. Wow, this is huge, but the frame rate, really good. Look at this. Look at that. How am I getting such great frame rate on this thing? I have no idea, but it is really frame rate friendly. This is huge. Can I show you the back outside? There you go. Look how big this thing is. Look, there I am, right here. This thing is huge. And the frame rate is really good. I, I don't know. I don't, I'm don't. i not sure how this is managing to get such good frame rate. I think it's because I don't see any pivots. Okay, unfinished back here. Maybe this is a simple build. Can we go inside? Let's check out inside here. I'm looking for the engines. Okay, they're underwater. I can't really see... But I'm guessing this is probably a simple build. But I can't... I can't really see. I don't think there's an engine room that we can get to. I think this was, like, set up to start. And then to just kind of use the uh, the helm to go. But, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of broken. It's an old build. It's my fault. I will take all, uh, all uh, <laughs> blame for any uh, vehicle that doesn't work. Because it's been, like, you know nearly a year since these were uh, put on the spotlight and so you know some of them are not going to work so I think that's it for this ship I don't well I can go down more let's go down more oh no it's fake I hit sink is it going to sink I don't know let's see all right so here's the outside it doesn't appear to be sinking but this is the RMS Aquitania by a normal commenter and uh, you can download in the description below hopefully it gets fixed because I kind of really wanted to sell around with it. Oh, that's how it sinks. <laughs> it lets go of a door on the side, and then the water starts going in. Oh my gosh, that's funny. I didn't expect that. So maybe we'll watch it sink. See how long it takes. I might have to fast forward this. All right, so that was the Armis Aquitania by a normal commenter, and it, it crashed. So, uh,. Maybe we'll end with the uh, sinking later. So let's get to the last build of the day, which is by a reef. Aha, yes, a reef. We're not going to say the other name, which is Reyes Liz did Leslie. Yeah. Uh, nope, this is by a reef, and this is the R-4671 IMC independent moving container. And uh, wait, is this a what? This is a water thing. All right, let's go to the water. So as I was saying, this is the R-4671 IMC independent moving container by a reef, and. Uh, yeah, so it apparently is for moving itself across areas in the water. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, but 
But now I'm confused because, as you can see, you just have a, enough room for... Hello, fellow spy. Oh, hello, fellow spy. There's some things I must say. The active stabilizer is bad. It's my bad, sorry. And don't open the door when locked. Um, but yeah, you can't actually transport anything. This is actually a spy container. I don't know why it's not just called a spy container because that appears to be what it is. It's a spy container. Miss it has a missile. It has a missile? Wait, what? I don't see a missile. What the heck? Okay. There's a missile. Wait. Okay, there I am over there. Okay, that was interesting. Let's get into the driver's seat. Fuel pump. Uh, start engine? Okay. Alright, well, I'm not really sure how to drive it. It's not... It's not engaging the clutch? Wait, I can't see that. What is it? Oh, there it is. Alright, there we go. Whew! Okay. There we go. So we are a secret spy container moving through the water with smoke coming out the back end with a missile and apparently a radar or something on top but no one is gonna know that we're a spy container i guess i guess i i don't i don't know it must be like a metal gear solid thing where you put a box on your head and no one notices you moving around so yeah this <laughs> this is it and uh where's that scuttle button where's the scuttle button i saw it oh there it is scuttle are we scuttling i don't think we're scuttling yeah, I, I don't know. All right, so anyways, that's it for today. This was the R-4671 IMC Independent Moving Container by A-Reef, and you can download all the vehicles today in the description below and check them out. All right, so on that note, if you haven't hit the bell, go ahead and do so. So it goes ding-dong when I upload a video. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I will see you next time. Time for a dramatic sinking.